Debbie from So So Easy and today I want to introduce you to an absolutely unique piece of fabric. The reason I know that this fabric here is unique is because I designed this and I've had it printed for myself. So, so far this is the only piece ever made of this fabric. Good news is, if you like this fabric, you can get an exactly same piece printed too. And what is good about it, it has everything you need on here in order to sew three um, cosmetics bags. So if we have a look at the designs, up at the top we have one which is uh, a bright spot and it also has a striped liner. If we look to the next one, there's a floral and this also has a striped liner but obviously the, the stripes on this one coordinate with the floral pattern there. This one has some optional appliques just here. So if you like to add some applique flowers to your bag, you can do, those are there. And then the third option is a nautical. It comprises a red and white stripe. And over this side, there's a blue and white stripe for the outer. And on the inside, there's a, a cute nautical pattern, um, blue with some little whales and uh, seahorses and crabs and things. And this one, if you'd like it, has some optional appliques here, which are some nice bright red anchors. So I will start up with this one and for this video we're going to make this striped and spotted bag. So the first thing to do is identify our pieces. We've got two outer pieces just here and then there's two lining pieces just here and two smaller rectangles here and here and these are also for the outer of the bag. So the first thing to do is carefully cut out. There's no pattern needed because the pattern is the size of the fabric itself. So carefully cut out around the edge of these printed designs and then we'll come back and talk about interfacing. So my pieces are all now cut out. I've got my lining and my outer pieces. Now I want my bag to be quite stiff so that it'll stand up on its own and also protect the contents. So I've added a fusible fleece to the inside of the lining and I've added a fusible interface to the wrong side of the outer fabric. Now at the moment they all look different sizes and shapes and it's not clear how they're going to fit together. So let's just take a look. If you take one of these outer pieces and this top piece here, this is going to be the top piece of the bag where the zipper is going to attach up here. So this piece needs to pleat in order to match the length of this one. So if you look it has this centre panel and we're going to fold it so that this centre panel is hidden behind our pleats. So we need to make it the same length as this one. So in the centre of this piece we have um, a striped area which measures two inches wide and we need to pleat the sides in to, to match this. So I've put just a, a pin, I've measured one inch from here and one inch from here and put a pin and you can do the same down at the bottom, measure an inch and we now need to fold along that line and just press it with your fingers. Same on this other side, press back at the point you've done that pin where there's a, an inch and now these press marks come in and meet at the centre, just here and you'll also fold them down so that they meet at the centre at the bottom as well and then just put a couple of pins to hold that in place here and here and the same up at the top I can take this pin out and use it to hold the pleat in place So now the bag is pleated in the centre and when you use it, it'll have this little peak. This will come open, you'll be able to see the little stripe on the inside. And now the top of the bag here is going to be the same length as this piece. So now everything is going to fit together perfectly. So do that with yours, measure in an inch either side from that centre panel, pleat your fabric and then pin it into the centre until you get a little piece like this, which is going to match in length to your top piece. So now it's time to complete this outer panel on each side of the bag. So if you take your top piece, you can use it either way up, entirely up to you, place it down over the top of the bag, the square parts should be cut out at the bottom, and then just line that up and pin. 
and you'll stitch along here with a half inch seam allowance but obviously be careful where you have the pins for your pleats. You may just want to pull these down a little, make sure they're going to be out of the way of the stitching line or maybe pull them out entirely and um, pin through holding the pleats in place from the top just here and you'll complete this for both sides and then that will be the outer of the bag completed. So I'll just sew mine and come back. So my outside panel for the bag is now completed and once I'd sewn the top on I just folded the seam allowance upwards and completed a line of top stitching so you can see that along this part of the bag just here. And now it's time for us to add in our zip. So I'm going to take the outer panel and a zip, I've got a nine inch zip here, just place that along the edge, matching up the zipper tape with the edge of the fabric, and just make sure the zip is even between the seams. Then I'll take one piece of my lining fabric and match that up exactly the same. And you can put a few pins in here. I'm just gonna go and get my Clover Wonder Clips because I actually prefer them for using zips. So these are my Wonder Clips. Um, I prefer them over pins because when I find if I put a pin in, it automatically makes it pucker and not lay flat in the same way. But with these, they're just easy. They clip on the outside. They're actually quicker and easier to use and they help it to lay flat too. So now I'm going to use a, a zipper foot and just stitch along the end of the zipper just here, all the way along with the zipper foot and that will be one side completed. So the zip is completed for this one side. Now we need to do the other side. So exactly the same, I'm gonna lay the outer fabric face up, line the zip along the top, make sure the edges of the fabric are even, and put the lining face down. And exactly the same as before, I'm just gonna clip this in place, and then use the zipper foot, line everything up, and that will sew the zipper in to the other side of the bag too. So the bag's now starting to take shape, we've got the zip in the centre and these are the outer panels and the linings in place too. And now uh, it's a good idea to top stitch the zip, so take your zipper foot again and just line a row of stitches either side of the zip, here and here. Give everything a nice press so that it's nice and flat and once the top stitching is in place then we'll start to assemble the bag. So the top stitch in next to my zip is now completed, so it's a time for us to assemble the bag. And we will take these two outer pieces, put those together, put the two lining pieces together. And then we start at the bottom where we have these pleats. Match up the pleats so that they're going to meet nicely. I'll take out these pins now that have been holding them in place because I don't want to stitch over those and damage my machine. So I'll make sure the pleats are nicely folded. Everything's lined up and I'll put a couple of clips in place or of course pin them just there to hold everything just right. Match up all these other parts of the fabric. Match up the side seams just here. Pin or clip, hold everything in place. Same on this side seam. Make sure everything's meeting up nicely. And then the same with the lining. We're going to match all of the lining up too because we're going to sew this all in one piece. Now what's important at this stage, I nearly forgot, is for us to partly undo our zipper. So I'm just going to pop my hand back inside. There we are. At least half undo this zipper because if I did forget and we sewed the whole thing, then it'll be very hard to open it in the bag later. So remember to undo your zip. Nearly forgot and continue just pinning all around. And then when we get to the bottom on the lining, we need to leave a, a gap here unsewn. So I'm just gonna put a couple of pins this way. And that will remind me that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew up along this edge, across the zip, down the other side. Same here, all the way across. Same at the bottom of the bag, the outer, I'm going to sew all the way across, 
not sew these corner parts, these are going to remain unsewn. But when I get to the bottom of the lining, I need to leave a gap here. So I'm just going to do a short seam here to here on each side. So sew around the entire outside of the bag now, leaving the space here and leaving the corners unsewn using a half inch seam. So that's the bag now sewn all the way around the outside apart from leaving the gap here in the lining. Now we need to take care of these corner pieces. So with the corner, just pop your finger in and open it out. And what we want to do is where the seam lines are here and here on the side and the bottom seam, we want to just look inside here and match those two together. And now you have a cross shape and it's always going to be best to move one set of seam allowances to one side and the others to the other side and then it won't be too bulky here. So again I'm going to use my clips to hold that in place and now you'll sew um, all the way across from one side to the other. Make sure this part is nice and secure and you go right to the edge of the fabric and do that for all four of your corners. Now with these corners sewn, you can see that already it's got a lot more shape to it. And now is the moment of truth. We're gonna turn it inside out, or rather right side out. So pop your hand through this gap in the lining up here. And we grab one of these bottom corners on the outer fabric, and we'll start to pull through. And like magic, it should all work out nicely pop those last bits of the lining through. Now it's going to look a little bit creased, especially if like for mine you've um, used a firm interfacing, but once it's all turned out nicely we'll be able to, pre to press this again. So now you have the lining, and I'll just push that down inside the bag. And we'll start to push out these corners. I'm rushing a little bit, but you're going to do a slower and better job on yours than I will. Push out the bottom corners on the bag, push the lining down in place and then we'll just get an early idea of what it looks like. We've got our top corners, we'll do this zip, pop that out too. Okay, so everything's starting to take shape. I'm now going to take mine over to the ironing board, just give it a press, and then we'll come back and be able to see the shape on the bag a little bit better. So here's our cosmetics bag. I've given it a final press. It's not quite finished just yet, but let's have a look at it from the outside. So it has a, a flat bottom just here so that the bag stands up nicely on its own. It has a little pleated area so that you can has a little bit more volume to the bag. And what I like about this, it has the little pleat so that you can shut more stuff in. But also the when the little pleat opens, the, the stripe of fabric just there matches the inside lining of the bag. I angle that towards the light. It looks really quite pretty, I think. The inside colours match the outside colours quite nicely. Opens up nice and wide at the top. It's also nice and deep, so you can get lots of stuff in there. We have just one more thing, of course, to finish, and that's to finish off the gap on the inside of our lining. So if we pull this back out again, at the bottom, we just have this gap, and you can either just fold these edges in and hand stitch neatly along the bottom, or if you're a little bit lazy, just run a line of machine, machine stitches along the bottom, tuck that back in, and your cosmetic bag will be finished. So that's the first one of the three. Obviously I've got two more to do, the floral one and the nautical one. So I'm gonna sew those now and finish off with a picture of all the bags completed. Thank you very much for watching and following along. I'm very excited about my first piece of fabric. And of course remember that it is in the spoon flower shop. So if you like it too and you wanna sew up these bags, you can just buy the piece of fabric and all three bags can be sewn out of that one piece. Thank you very much for watching.